Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about my Golem Speed 10 team. Dead, damn, my, my head. I was just like, I just twitched. I just twitched for a second just now. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show off my Golem Speed 10 team because I. Well, I, I showed it off, but I wanted to talk a little bit about it because I, I got some questions um, about why I gemmed the monster a certain way. In the video, I showed the the gems of all of these monsters. I took a screenshot and included them in the video. Um, but I'm I got a lot of questions asking like, you know, you should gem your why don't you gem your crit, your your toad with crit rate and um, you know because his his morale boost only activates on crit. You know, so why didn't you gem him with crit rate? The the thing is, he doesn't actually need the crit rate, um, especially if you have a siphon set on him. I can actually show you guys why, and I'll talk a little bit about the theory behind this team. The other thing we're going to do in this video is we're going to be doing some summonings right after as well. Um, so we're, we're just going to go in and I'll I'll stop the auto battle, and then I'll, I'll kind of just show you guys, um, you know, kind of why I don't have, have him with high crit rate. Well, first of all, I don't have enough crit rate gems. A lot of my crit rate gems are on my three radices. So they have, uh, two of them have max crit, and one of them has like 94% crit, which is very, very um, close to max crit. The Toad actually has one crit rate gem with 12% crit, and it's, it's not too bad, but his other gem doesn't have crit, so I decided to just gem him with triple attack. Now, if he were to attack someone on turn one, um, he would probably do about like yeah about half of the bar of the the enemy and he would generate about like 20 percent sp now if he does crit it would definitely do more damage and it would it would probably it would boost him um over 50 percent sp it'll probably go to like 60 percent or so if he does actually crit because of his morale boost now the reason why i don't have him on on um or i didn't prioritize to give him the crit crit gems rather than giving the crit gems to my radices is because he doesn't even have enough damage if he does actually crit to be able to one shot the wave and the, w the reason why this team is so stable is because um i have the radices built with attack like just tr just crit rate double attack so they're like you know fully offensive uh, they're attack type monsters so they come with 3200 attack and with the toad's attack lead the the attack lead gets basically gets uh you know another 30 percent of the, the 3000 which is like which is like uh it's like 900 ish extra attack which which is definitely a lot um and if it does crit it would do it would, it would do quite a lot of damage now the the ones that attack the um the minnows or the 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 sparklers um they would die instantly but sometimes when they hit the moonflowers, they're, they're not able to kill it unless they land two saps. That's the only way they could kill the moonflowers. But if they do hit like the minos or the, the other side monsters, they would definitely just one shot it. Um, you know, but if they hit the moonflowers, it won't, it'll be very, very close to being able to one shot it. But but not not quite enough. But it does, if it does land the sap, it will be able to kill the uh, moonflower. It's the same thing with the bee. The bee is a little bit tankier than the moonflower, but it's, it's fine if the bee doesn't die. And then usually on turn two, um, you know, the, if they did already line a sap on turn one, this this thing's dead for sure. And I have like four units, and they have three. So basically, the the thing is like I'm I'm playing with RNG, but no, it's it's still not actually that risky because most of the time this team will be able to um, kill at least one unit on the first turn usually. And, and even if it doesn't, and one of my units actually does end up dying on the second turn, my other three units, because they're all sappers, they're still able to finish the stage. Um, especially once they do have their full bar, and, and they start siphoning. So I basically, I'll just, uh, like worst case scenario, they all, all attack the same unit. You know, and then this turn, they would all attack the same unit, and then they would have a, like a full bar. And I can actually show you, like, if, if any of them do their AoE, they're all going to get a full bar. But I can actually show you that the the uh, the Toad will always get a full bar, even if um, even if you don't have him with 100% crit. So even if he doesn't crit at all, he would still be able to get a full bar with his Siphon Gem. And that's, that's basically what I'm aiming for. So what I'm trying to aim for is, I'm trying to make sure that the Toad always gets a full bar. This way, whenever I get into the next wave, or especially when I enter the, the actual Golem stage... Um, he, all my units will have a full bar. So if I just let everybody do their AoE, uh, they're going to do enough damage to overkill all the units. So they always get a full bar because they're all on Siphon. So this this continues onto the third wave. 
they all do their nuke, and then just everybody gets a full bar. And then they do do the do this on the golem. So basically, it doesn't matter who they target. When they get to the golem stage, they're all going to have a full bar. And um, you know, most of the time, the side units usually going to die. But after their first nuke on the on the golem and the two side units, um, since we're already hitting three units, the, the two side units, um, you know, plus the golem, plus the damage we do to the golem because we're light, um, is going to generate enough damage for the s for the sp or what was it called? Yeah, the for the siphon gems. Um, to basically fill my bar again. So no matter what, my like all of my units are always like when the usually I think like 90% of the time there are there are times when RNG goes really badly. Um, but usually when when it gets to the golem, they're always gonna have a a full bar. And then after they do their first nuke, they're gonna get a full bar again. And then they're gonna do another nuke. Which if you have like four sappers sapping the golem, he's he's pretty much it's gonna land some saps. Like even if you have like the the worst RNG and it takes three turns to kill him, it's it's perfectly fine. Uh, but most of the time, it's only gonna take two turns to kill the boss. And that's why this this team is a lot more. Um, I prefer using this team more than the light Nike team because when I'm using the light Nike team, sometimes with three radices, it's not enough sap to push the golem's bar to. Um, you know, basically just like, like I might be short like one or two saps to kill him and the toad kind of makes up for that because he, he can land three saps on a single, um, on a single, like his AOE move. He, ha he has the potential to land a maximum of three saps. And sometimes even if he just lands one or two, it's enough to basically kill the golem. Um, just like just be enough damage to kill the golem. So that's kind of why he, he makes the, these runs so stable and so, uh, so fast. So yeah, that's that's why I don't have them with crit. But uh, if if I do actually um, get enough crit gems, I would probably still put him on crit because he's he's much much stronger on crit. Um, it's just that I'm missing one attack siphon gem. Just with that one attack siphon gem, I just need one attack siphon gem with two rolls into crit, and I'll be able to go crit rate double attack, and then he'll have like full uh, full crit. So he'll always have like sixty percent SP on first turn, and it's very very likely that he gets a full bar after first turn. So. Uh, that that would actually be pretty nice just to just just to generate a, a whole bunch of SP. So that's pretty much it for the the toads and the radices. Um, we're gonna be doing some summons, and I'm going to um, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you guys why I'm actually summon summoning. I'm trying to hit the rebirth count, try to get to 30 before the reset. It's it's about to reset in one day, one day in eight hours, and right now I have 102 eggs. This is from farming golems v10. Um, I'm not sure if Golems B10 has higher egg drop rates than B8, but you know if you farm fast enough, you, and if you farm enough, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna get a whole bunch of eggs farming B10. That's what I did. I used my uh, Toad Radis team farmed farmed a whole bunch of B10. Well, not not just uh, not just now, but I before I got the Toad, I was using the Nike, and then I eventually um, got enough Toads, and then I I. Um, farmed up or I leveled the toad and started using the toad plus the the radices to farm b10 so we're gonna just do a few summons and whenever we're full we're gonna go do some rebirths Ooh, nice can't believe I got a four star from one of these uh these small eggs I guess we'll summon the elemental eggs first and then we'll summon we'll just keep popping the normal eggs with a hundred eggs I might be able to get a nat 5 actually it's probably not happening I wish. All right. Um, my, I, this is this is like, I I think I'm I think I'm obligated to like advertise my clan again. Um, uh, <laughs> I only advertise it once. I was gonna just basically talk about it in each one of my videos just just say that we have a competitive clan that's like still recruiting um our casual clan is pretty much almost full i think we're already at 39 so we can probably only accept one more um but our competitive clan still needs a, a whole bunch of people um the clan isn't like super competitive like they're not they're not they're not absolute try hard but there are a few requirements if you want to go in. And I think the requirements are good because, you know, if you have a clan with requirements, it makes sure that everyone that's going into the clan is, um, you know, is is somewhat decent. Um, and it's mostly about, like, how serious you are. It's not really about how strong you are. Um, you know, uh, 
I'm not in the competitive one because I decide to be casual. I'm, I'm a little bit busy. I don't have like that much time to always uh, watch my Titan times. Sometimes my sleep schedule is really messed up as well. So um, sometimes I m might miss Titan battles a lot of times. So I, I, I don't think I'm really suitable to be in the competitive clan. But for, for people that are in competitive clan, um, as long as you have like a relatively normal schedule, it's pretty easy. Basically, the, the requirement is just to do half the Titan battles. So there's like 36 Titan battles throughout the week. Uh, you can do less than half. All you, all you need to do is 15. That's what they're asking for. And uh, there's a requirement for, for Clan Fest to do two pulls. Um, basically, if you do two pulls, everybody gets a present. So it's just basically benefiting the clan. And if you have everyone doing two pulls, and everyone at least gets like 40 presents, which is pretty good. Um, the other thing is like a level requirement of level 46 and above. Uh, this is basically just to make sure that... like I know level is not a very good indicator of how how strong or how serious you are, but level can, um, you know, it, it, it can be a pretty good estimate because usually higher level players will, will have more monsters um, because they've been playing for longer, they've been farming for longer. So that's that's kind of why the, the level requirement exists. And this clan is on uh, Pacific Time. The clan name is called um, Luxuria. I will include all the, all the information in the description below again. Um, if you want to join my casual clan, I there's no requirement, but I think we only have one slot left. We're also accepting apprentices. Apprentices are anyone that's like really new to the game. Um, they're not when they get accepted into into a clan, they're not official members, but they actually can do Titan battles for um, only half the energy cost. So it's still beneficial for new players to join clans and become apprentices. We have like quite a few apprentice slots open, but we are. Uh, Actual clan slots are, are almost full. I think there's only one more. Alright, I already burned through quite a lot of eggs. Still not a single... Uh... Well, I did get a, get a 4 star from the small egg, so I guess that was pretty lucky. I don't know. I... I feel like these eggs aren't as good as before. They kind of like slowly nerf the race of the eggs because they, uh, because everyone's summoning so much. Like back in the day, golems used to take like three minutes to farm. So like you actually don't get that many eggs. Like you're you're lucky to get like five eggs a day, but now like people are getting like twenty eggs a day. It's 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 gotten insane. So they, uh, I, I think they nerfed the rates. Like the rates for, the, for these normal eggs are. Are kind of shitty now like the the rates are pretty low it used to be around like five percent if you think about it uh if it's five percent to get a to get a nat four then after these 100 eggs i should have like four nat fours but it's it's, it's usually not the case i think it's like i think it's it's much lower now it's i think it's like three percent or something like that because a lot a lot of times i summon like 30 or 40 eggs and um and yeah, like, I, I just get nothing. I mean, I literally have a hundred eggs, so you guys can see, like, the rates of the eggs. And if the, the rates for, like, for, for getting a nat 5 in, like, a Heroes Fest pull, or not a Hero Fest pull, but, like, the 10 plus 1 pull in the special shop is, like, 0.5%. Then the, the the rate for like getting these eggs are probably like even lower. So you probably need to like save up like 500 eggs in order to uh, in order to get a single nat five. Like that that's that should be kind of the rates to get a nat five. Like if you have like 5,000 or not 5,000, 500 eggs. Maybe I should do that one time. All right, that's two so far. I think that's I think that's pretty good. We're not halfway there yet, and I, I got two, so I guess it's all right. All right, astronaut inventory is full. Let's let's do some rebirths. Um, I'm trying to save up birdies, and I'm also trying to save up... Uh, what's the other thing I'm trying to save up? I think it's mostly birdies. I'm trying to raise my dark birdie. Um, I'm planning to build a third dark, or a fourth dark Miho, so I'm saving that as well. 
The the Yetis, I can always farm more, so I, I don't really care about th throwing them back into the Rebirth. Because the Yetis are farmable on the last map, so I could always go and farm them. July, Lad, do I need the Fibians? I should actually f keep the Fibians, to be honest. Because I, I have a few Light Dark Fibians that are like... Uh, Evil 1, and I fed like one variant into them to try to make them variant and Evil 2. And I'm planning to use them for rebirth festivals, but uh. Wait, let me, let me make sure I don't feed anything I don't want to feed. But yeah, I need to like re feed two more Fibians into them in order to actually make them Evil 2. It's just so I can make a variant and use the variant for rebirth fest. Got a lot of seedlers and a lot of radishes. It kind of sucks how now like all the rebirth count is always thirty, but I guess people are just like rebirthing way too hard for the uh, for the other rebirth for the hero's rebirth. Wait, no, I, didn't I just say no no mihos no fibians? Um, we don't need candlings or these. Can't feed the birdie, can feed the uh, the hunter, gator thing, this one, like two, two more yetis. Man, still no, 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 uh, no four star. All right, let's, let's keep going. Still got 66 more eggs left. Man, I wish there was a... I wish there was a 10 plus 1 for like these eggs or at least like a summon 10 at a time. That would be that would be so good. What can I say? Like summoning these used to be used to feel a lot more exciting, but once once you have like almost everything and you're only looking for like the best of the best, then uh, you're literally like I'm summoning just to try to get a nat 5. And a lot of these nat 4s that I'm getting are going to be just basically used for Rebirth Fest. I mean, I still want as many nat 4s as possible so I can like use them for Kanos. But the other thing is I'm trying to get, um, like I'm getting the the, the the birdies and the Fibians. So I can use them for uh, to raise some other monsters. I'm going to need a lot, lot of birdies because I have like, <laughs> I have a few light birdies. I want to raise at least one. And for the other ones, I might try to use them for uh, for future rebirth festivals. Yeah, we are not even halfway there. You know what I need? I need a variant nat five. That's 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 all I need in life, really. Just give me like one variant nat five. Preferably an Odin. Well, actually, yeah, any any Nat Five that's like used for PvP would be awesome. Actually, mostly Odin. It's it's just Odin that I want. I used to want a purse, like a variant purse, but um, I don't think I need it anymore because I was trying to use like fire purse for Golem's B10. But now that there's the Toad and the Radices, she's not she's not that good anymore. Um, I don't think I need the fire purse anymore. I'm planning on feeding her um, to my my water one, so I can. I can finally evil three my water purse, but I actually don't want to feed my other water purse away because I have two water purses. I'm planning to like I kind of want to keep both, and use them for uh, for for clan PVP. Because even at evil two, they're pretty useful. Man. My luck has ran out. 
But you know what I need? I need a... I need a Cupid with a perfect variant skill. That's what I need. My current Cupid only has a level 5 lead. I need a level 6 lead. That's what I need. I guess it's, that's just how it works. Like, cause when you're like almost maximized everything, it gets to the point where you're you're trying to uh, you're trying to like get that one percent more. Like that that's literally w what I want right now. I just want that extra one percent. All right, all right, let's do this. It's pretty good that they sort these by element. I actually would have wished if I could sort them by type, it might be might be easier. I need to uh, save the mihos. Save the mihos. Get rid of the random ones I don't need, like the monkey keys and Julys first. No reason to keep those. Man, so unlucky. I think since like the first rebirth all the way up till now, I didn't get a single four star. Like I'm literally only getting it from the the guaranteed lightning. Um. Alright, we got these. I don't think I have any more Medusas to level either. Should like save 500 eggs next time. Do like a, do like a summoning of 500 eggs. You could trade a hundred of these eggs for one light dark egg, would you do it? Alright, nice, I got a four star. That's uh that's that's three so far. Oh back to back. Alright, that's four. I think I think the luck's starting. It's uh it's currently eleven thirty two right now in the morning. You know, I think I noticed something. I think I think there might be time gates. Last time I got some lightning. Last time, like the last nat five I pulled from an egg, I think. Actually, wait, no, the last nat five I pulled from an egg was with Witch Shinobi. I mean, Witch Shinobi's all right. Probably just uh, feed him into the fire one. Man, what is this? Alright, so we got four so far. Um, if we get like one more, then I guess it's pretty good pretty good rates. I mean it's 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 hard when you only got like a few eggs to use as a sample. But I, I do hope that like before 30 I at least get one. Like, at least get one lightning. Is this, because this is just, this is completely sad. Man, this is, this is really sad.
Well, we're almost at the guaranteed, so... Err... What can I do? Oh, wait, 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 why am I using the Phibians? I think I'm starting to... I'm starting to lose it. I'm starting to lose it. I think that's what ha what's happening. All right, we only got Phibians and Mihos now. All right, let's let's just refeed some Yetis. Still no luck. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have refed the Yetis. I was thinking to save inventory space, whatever Yeti I get. Like, if I get a dark one, I'll just evil three it. Alright, there we go. That's, uh... Yeah, that's that's four, uh... That's that's five, uh, five Vitalings from eggs. Out of a hundred. Oh, that's six. Alright, I'm getting... I think, I think this is pretty good luck. Wait, how come they're all back-to-back? -back? Is is the time skate theory legit? It's, it's currently 11.35. Did you guys find that weird? When you get the Nat 4s, you get them back to back. Ooh, this is... Hmm, something, something crazy is going on right now. It's gotta get as many as possible. So I can use because the the rebirth fest is happening very very soon. I still want to try to get like one more dark Kana. Well, at least a lot of these that I'm summoning are actually Yetis. So that's that's actually not too bad. Ooh, that's that's another one. How many was that? Seven or eight? My luck is pretty good. Ooh, that's nine. I'm on, I'm on a roll. Uh, I don't need Shelly's. Oh, not the Miho. Three more eggs. Can I get one more lightning? Is it possible? I think my inventory is full right now. All right, there's two more eggs I can't summon. All right, this is the thirty. This is the thirty. Uh, the cocos, the monas, the radis, the sea star. Man, these this this batch is super unlucky with the with the Yetis. Like I literally from one all the way to thirty, I didn't get a single single one that was four star. All right, let's see what this one is. All right, it's a light one. I hope I hope it has good slots. All right, let's let's finish the. Uh, ooh, I, I forgot to count the rebirth time rebirth uh rebirth thing. We'll finish summoning these two eggs. We'll go check that Yeti slots. Maybe it's the, uh, maybe it's the prophesized one. The true master race triple square. What's it gonna be? Ooh, not bad. Not bad. This one has two squares.
Hmm. Hmm, I can actually do something with this. Do I have a defense gem with resist? Uh, my, none of my defense gems have high resist. Actually, I could steal something. Uh, I kind of don't want to steal my Dark Sea Stars gems. I can I can do something with that Yeti. I can I can definitely raise this one. Uh, should I? Yeah, I'll do it later. I'll raise the Mihos first. I'll raise my my third Dark Miho. I actually just gemmed up the Dark Miho. She actually took all the Pugilist gems. I was, I was planning on making a third uh, Pugilist Dark Miho. It's got sixty. It's got sixty percent resist, but uh, some crit rate, so it's pretty good. It's like thirty percent crit rate. It's, it's on triple HP, and I'm actually not planning to super evolve this one. I'm gonna super evolve one of my original ones, like either either this one, probably this one. I'm probably gonna super evolve this one. Um, and then this one will just be, will just be the other one on defense. So basically, this one's gemmed on crit. So if you ignore her, she does a whole bunch of damage. But this one, if you ignore her, but she's like, this one's gonna be tankier because it's triple HP. But if you ignore her, she's she's gonna like stun your ass. So it's basically like a, it's a lose lose situation for the for the opponent. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I'm just gonna gem up these monsters, and they'll 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 be pretty good. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll see you guys during during the Rebirth Fest where I try to get another Kana. And hopefully hopefully I get some good luck. But anyways, that's that was actually pretty good, uh, to be honest. Because I got... How many 4 stars? I got like 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... And then, like, from the random egg, I got 10. So, like, that, that was actually pretty good. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.